Hello, my friends of Watery Labs. Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is a very innovative, I guess, a tutorial. It's about the crop yield assessment based on from photos with Python and Scikit-Learn. So it came from a question from one of the followers that say, okay, look, I want to know how many orange are in this photo, okay? By sure, we can assess the, well, we can identify with machine learning libraries as I could learn how many orange there are in this photo, but on some limitations because it will understand that this is, a, is an orange, but somehow the, the fruits that are behind the leaves won't be identified. So we will have like a factor or like an index of crop yield assessment based on the number of fruits identified by the by the by the script and the actual production of the of the of the crop so it has to be paired with the this has to be paired with the with the production of the of the field okay but however we can we can run a um, we can run um, we can we can create a, an identification and the we can run the script from now and then you can see how this works okay so this will be the this is the the image that we are going to work so we run the cell then we have an okay this will show the image and we can select interactive which are the fruits that are going to be uh, which are the points that are that from our perspective is a fruit fruit or an orange okay so i just run this and this is interactive so i say for me this is an this is an orange for me this is an orange 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 this is an orange, this is an orange, this is an orange. This is an orange, this is an orange, this is an orange, this is an orange, this is an orange. This can be an orange, this can be an orange, this can be an orange. Yeah, I strongly recommend that if you want to take these photos, do not take at noon. I mean, because if you see that there is a strong gradient on the color and on the color of the fruit itself okay so as long as all the fruits are from the same color it will be easier for the computer to understand okay but however it's possible okay so i have to identify 18 points so which are the points that i have identified are all of them that has a red dot okay but however the code allow us to still select some points. So I can I can select this, this, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this, this, this. If you see, okay, somebody can tell can tell can say, okay, why you are almost selecting the whole fruits on the photo. Yeah, you are selecting the whole fruits on the photo, but you are doing this just for this tree because actually you can have a library of the photos and then you can apply for many trees and then you can, I mean, this is the training part of the, of, of the, of the tutorial. But after that, once you have your data set of the fruits of the orange, you can apply this for other photos. So, and, and that's how we, that's how we uh, we can assess this on a special on a on a special point on a special scale. Okay, so okay, so once again I run this and then see. Okay, I have all of these identified as orange, and maybe this and maybe this. Okay, cool. So here I just this part of the code show the points of interest okay and 
please try to keep that you that uh, I mean if you select points that are close to the edges like the the image won't be the image won't be uh, won't be complete yeah because maybe you will have a part of the image here and the the, the algorithm will run so actually what you need is to have the whole image okay and on my perspective point two is not well selected so i will delete it uh, because it's not in exactly on the on the on the orange yeah and i can't delete it just by pressing two here and running yeah if i don't want to de delete anything i just comment this okay cool okay cool okay then i have to match the image to the template and this this is with this part of the code and okay this is done please remember that when it's working this this dot is solid okay you can plot the interpreted points over the image and say okay look for the whole for the whole um, selection you have that all of them are potentially orange okay look but somehow i can make this i mean the criteria of the acceptance i can make it more loose by just changing a factor here that let's say let's say that i want that the that the percentage of proximity will be 80.8 rather than 0.86 and let's see if it, if this interprets more points Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? And let's see what happens if I point point five. Yeah, I'm just running this with a uh, say point five. Look, I have interpreted as well as some hidden points, but I, the grass is all is all also interpreted as as orange and we don't that this is not possible we know that this is not possible so 0.5 is not okay 0.6 run 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 0.6 is not okay yeah but let's say what happened at 0.7 run 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 cool point seven it's okay but still we have some points here that can be interpreted as okay let's say point eight point seventy five run 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 cool and i think point seventy five is okay yeah Mm -hmm. yeah why not okay so once again as but we have a lot of points per fruit per orange so we want to make a cluster or we want to identify that all of these points represent just one fruit because actually they don't represent many okay so i do a cluster analysis with the birch algorithm in scikit-learn first i i arrange the data and then i just run the birch algorithm and wow it says this look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and say okay all of these points are in fact all of these points are in fact um uh, orange okay so let's say how many orange do we have if we run this and say okay in this in this photo we have identified 34 oranges okay these are 34 orange that are located outside of the plant because there are orange that are located inside the plant okay so if you want to correlate which is 
the because there is a radio, okay? So the fruits that are outside the plant correspond to a percentage of the fruits of the whole of the whole plant. So just by doing this and knowing this radio, you can see you can assess the crop yield of your of your farm of your of your plantation of your growth okay and from this you can planify you can do some spatial analysis and so on okay so i hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you this is made on python and using yanaconda okay in windows you can do it in mac as well and you can do it in, in linux yeah and I think that maybe the next tutorial will be so multiple. I mean, like not with um, not with um, fruit with orange, but rather with um, with rather with um, I will do it with olives. Okay. So I hope that this will be very interesting for you and I hope that you follow us what we are. We are Hatari Labs. Hatari Labs is a blog that promotes the use of open source software in uh, numerical modeling, GIS and programming. Okay, so we have a lot of tutorials. Okay, we will have courses as well. And in the future, we will bring consultancy services as well. So I hope that you follow us by our Facebook channel, our Twitter channel, and as well as our newsletter. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like the tutorial that we, we provide, please click on subscribe. OK, once again, my name is Olmo Toya. Please have a great day. and. See you in another tutorial. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.